going along nicely. It certainly is, uh, and here at the fourth for a birdie. Putted beautifully yesterday in filter. It's very much the same story today. Yes, a birdie there taking him to seven under par, and he wasn't done. Very next hill. Beautiful tee shot. Centre of the fairway. Ball against the blue sky. And dispatch straight at the target. This is Pilter at his very best. <laughs> Halfway. Oh, he got hit a very average putt. He's knocked it five feet past, so work to do. This is such a difficult putt for Polter to read and gauge. The last five feet of this journey, it might just want to swing gently from right to left. Just let that one get away from him a bit. It's a, a tad heavy-handed. Back into a draft. Bunkers down the right-hand side don't really come into play. It's playing a lot longer than yesterday. There was a little bit of help yesterday, not a lot, but enough. So this shot will certainly be played off an upslope. If he's lucky, he will find it on the flat spot down in the dip. Looks pretty good. It's just such an unbelievably sparkling day, isn't it? Those players that played yesterday morning must be switching the television on, looking at this and crying their eyes out. Two hundred and sixty three into a puff of breeze. Ideally, he would like to turn this from right to left and chase it in there. It's right on the limit for Ian. On the little upslope. So he'll give this air time. I think front edge would be about right, unless he really nails one. Yeah, I wanted to keep that one out to the right hand side. This is a nasty lie, and we're looking at a, a really, a, well, a great chipper. One of the best. Yeah, I don't know whether you guys saw it, but he was chipping through the window of a very expensive sports car on his drive on Twitter a few weeks ago. I was nervous watching it. Hope he didn't take any lessons from Thomas Bjorn trying to chip it out of his out of his lounge window when he shanked it and it went right through the glass. Superb pitch from uh, Pilter from that awkward spot left of seven. A lot talked about his chipping and his putting, but his course management is up there with the very best. And Pilter closes to within one. We might see a puff of sand come up with a little bit of help. Just over 160. Even though he does clip it. Oh. The other side of that ridge. Sit. Huh? Here's Polter at eight. just kicked up there's a club of help now come on come on working its way a little closer towards the hole He's very good with the putter, we know that. But he is sensational at lagging putts. He's always had a great pace. Age has not hindered Ian Poulter, the postman, whatever you want to call him.
Oh wait, no. Just the polish off uh, for part. But nice little round there of 66. Some consistent play so far for Ian Poulter. Takes him to nine <laughs> under par for the event. Just one back of the current lead. Ian, four under yesterday, five under today, a little better. What did you do better today? Um, I didn't do an awful lot different, to be honest. I, I made two mistakes yesterday, which I think was frustrating. Three putting the 17th hole yesterday, which, um, you know, really shouldn't do that from 30 feet. Um, and I didn't really make too many mistakes today. So, I, you know, I felt I kind of moved the ball around the course pretty good, put myself in decent positions and hold a couple of nice putts at the right time and um, I felt that was a decent reflective uh, score for today. With the pandemic, Polch, you've been playing a lot in the States, uh, ball through the air. How much fun is it to be back to Lynx and see the ball always moving forward? It, it's great. Lynx golf, I think, is um, it's a rarity that you know we get the opportunity to come and play. So um, the Open Championship not being on this year on, on Lynx golf, you, you want to come and play and um, it's great to you know, to be able to do that. And, you know, we've had two great days of weather. Well, my side of the draw has certainly had, um, you know, the right the right half of it. And obviously yesterday morning was, was, was pretty tough for the guys. But, you know, it's, it's fun, you know, trying to land it 20 yards short pins, feeding it in on some of these ridges. And um, it's, it's, always, it's always interesting to come and play Lynx golf. You bring up the weather. You've had the best of it, Ian. It's, um, they say tomorrow and the next day, the, the trophy day Sunday, is going to be quite ugly. Maybe they'll get it wrong, but let's go with the prediction. How do you program your mind for what's coming? Um, it is difficult because, you, you know, you don't know where you know, the pin locations are going to be. You don't know how much rain we're going to get. Normally, Lynx Golf kind of can take a lot of rain, and that's what's in the forecast. So uh, the bag's going to be heavy for Terry, and the umbrella's probably going to be up for the whole day. And... Um, you know, right now I'm just pleased to have got on the right side of the draw. Uh, I feel pretty bad for the guys that had the other side, but I've had that other fair share, uh, you know, given many times. So uh, I'll take this one right now. OK, play well on the weekend. Batter down the hatches. Yes, sir. Cheers, right up. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.